Hey guys, Sableye VGC here, and welcome back to another episode of Crazy Climate. Today we're going to keep things going with the Groudon Kyogre team, and we're going to see if we can feature Mega Manetric a little more. It made a few appearances, it just volt switched a few times into earlier episodes, but let's see if we can actually get it in to take a few knockouts this time. I wouldn't mind HP watering a Groudon with it, that would be fun. Let's see how f I want an opponent, is what I want. I really do want an opponent. There we go. Rene from Italy, with a rating of 1656, so we're going to get a good battle here. And we are going to see Zerndon, so definitely going to bring a Manetric out in this one. I almost want to go Manetric Finny. Like, Manetric Finny seems decent to me. I can set, gra I can set uh, Gravity if I need to with Finny as well. The only thing this doesn't really deal with is the Amoongus. However, the Spore, I prevent the Spore. So that's not bad. Groudon coming for sure, and I definitely want Ogre. I'm going to go with these four. Not sure if it's the right four, but I think it's I think it's a good bet. I think I might be forcing Manetric into this potential matchup because I'm not sure if it really wants to be here. But you know what? I'm gonna bring it. It's a good mod, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a good Pokemon. Whether it's a good Pokemon or not, I'm gonna make it one. I do have HP Water, so that could catch that Groudon off guard. But he is gonna go with Xerneas and Incineroar as a lead, and I'm gonna go Manetric and Typo Finny. So, I'm going to set up a light screen immediately, if he doesn't fake out Finny, which I feel like he might. I'm going to go light screen Snarl. Try to stop this Xerneas as fast as I can, because I don't really have a good way to deal with it. I have Ferrothorn and I didn't bring it, so... I'm definitely going to need to hit something, find a way to stop it now, or at least stop it from doing too much damage. Mega Ball, Snarl. And I'm going to go light screen. If I can get the Snarl on the light screen off and then pivot into my Groudon and self swagger, I'm in a really, really good spot. Because then Groudon puts on an immense amount of pressure and I can just drop a gravity and kill things. I probably should have made my. I don't think I did. I probably should have made this Finny faster than my Groudon, but I, I believe that's just an oversight in my team building. Yeah, if I make Finny faster than Groudon, I'm able to get the gravity off before I have to worry about. before Groudon attacks, which is nice. I'm able to self swagger before Groudon attacks, which is also. A really good thing. So he's just gonna swap Xerneas here, probably scared of Haze to some extent. This isn't a bad lead for me. I have the HP water. If he thinks Groudon's safe, that's really solid for me. And I'm also gonna get the uh, light screen up, which is good for the long run against the Xerneas in the, in the late game. Let's see who he fakes out here, though. I'm definitely going for that HP water next turn 100%. Manetric is gonna Mega. Do you imagine if I would have swapped out Finny here and went for the HP water this turn? That, that would have been an incredible read, but there's no way I make that read. There's no way I do. Manetrix Intimidate, so that actually goes off onto the Groudon, which is very nice. Could be special, but I'm, yeah, I guess most of these are, are special now moving forward. Yep, so he's going to fake out Finny, that's fine. And I'm just going to get my Snarl off. So if he's special, he's weaker. If he's physical, he's weaker. That's one good thing about Mega Manetric. You got the Intimidate and you get the Snarl effect. It's kind of like Incineroar in that sense, where you can kind of neuter both. You can nuke the physical attackers and you can wreck the uh, special attackers as well. So I am just going to go straight for that HP water here in the Groudon. And I am going to swap into Ogre. Let's see if this catches him off guard. Sometimes people don't really expect it, especially from a Manetric, right? Like, I feel like he might expect it from the Finny, but I'm not sure if he expects it from the Manetric. So Kyogre is going to come in. Seeing this, it's either a really slow Groudon, or he didn't switch out, meaning he either protected or attacked. We're going to get our blue warp to uh, give us our primal reversion here. We're going to set the rain, get rid of the sun, because, you know, it's it's some, it's the middle of summer. We don't want to be, we don't want any more sun. Get rid of the sun. Primordial Sea goes up, and Manetric is going to get that hidden power water off, and this will pick up that Groudon, no problem. So, uh, we actually get that uh, shenanigan off. And we're going to see what Incineroar wants to do. Probably a U-turn, I would imagine. Yeah, U-turn. So now he's going to come into Kyogre. Not Kyogre, into his Xerneas. And he's going to go Xer... Wow, that did a lot of damage. But he's going to come into Xerneas here. And then go fake out Xerneas. Fake out Geomancy. So I get a free, either a full power water spout off or a Snarl. Which is still pretty decent if you ask me. Let's see what my opponent goes for here. There's the Xerneas, which is expected. And here comes the Incineroar. So he'll be faking out my uh, Kyogre, no, no doubt in my mind. Now the thing is, I could go Volt Switch off Xerneas, but I feel like Snarl's better in the long run. 
Yep, there's the Incinera. I am gonna snarl a water spell. But do I snarl? That's my question. Because I could Volt Switch and come into my... What else did I bring? Did I bring Instant? I don't know if I brought Instant. I don't think I did. I have Finny in the back and I have Groudon in the back. I could come into Groudon here, actually. I could just Volt Switch right into Groudon. But then that weakens... That, that neuters my Coyote, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go for the Snarl and I'm gonna go for the Water Spout. In case it lets me get that off, which I doubt. Incinera is gonna fake up. That should be going into Kyogre. It goes into Minetric. Alright. Minetric is gonna flinch. Xerneas is gonna Geomancy. I mean, it makes sense in a way. So he's not getting snarled here, and he's gonna get the plus two special defense from the water spout. But I mean, now he loses instant this turn. Guaranteed, rather than potentially miss me dodging a origin pulse. Alright, so I'm gonna get the water spout off here. I'm gonna definitely 100% kill Incineroar. And probably about 50, close to 50%, I would say, onto the Xerneas. Depending on how bulky it is. Water spout's coming out. Definitely knocks out that Incineroar, and right around 50% on the Xerneas, as expected. So, here's where things become interesting, depending on what his last Pokemon is. His other, his other Restricted is down and dead, which is great, and it is Salamence. Alright, so, things get interesting now. I want to Ice Beam the Salamence, but at the same time, yeah, I think I just Ice Beam Snarl here. Because if I can kill Salamence, I'm good. I wouldn't mind preserving the Intimidate, because if I take a doubt, I'm not sure if I can survive a double edge. Uh, Dazzle. Well, I think I'm gonna have to try. If I can survive the double edge Dazzle, this game is over. If I don't survive the double edge Dazzle, this game is probably over, but in his favor. Um, maybe this was a bad play. I probably should have protected and sacrificed Finny, maybe. And then swapped back in to get the Intimidate on the Mence. Maybe that was the better play. Dazzle does come out. Kyogre, that's a crit. Now I definitely can't live. Either way, it wasn't the safest of plays for me, but still. Double Edge is going to come out, is going to connect, and is going to kill Kyogre. So this is a bit unfortunate for me. I don't think it's over yet, but it's probably pretty close to over. Got Groudon on one side, on the left, and let's get Finny in on the other side. If he just doubles Finny here, he wins. Because I can't kill Salamence with Groudon, which is unfortunate. I definitely should have protected. I didn't make a great play there. It's unfortunate that crit didn't even give us technically give us a chance to survive the double edge, but I don't know if we do anyways. That normally does a good chunk, especially if he's predominantly physical, which I feel like he might be. Ground's Desolate Land is going up. I am going to Icy Wind and Fire Punch here. If I can kill the Zern with a Fire Punch, there's still technically a chance. And I am going to Icy Wind. I wonder if Gravity, though, is the better play. Because then, then I'm able to hit Mets with the P-Blades. Huh. I think Mets wins that anyways, though. And I'm not sure if I'm getting a Icy Wind off regardless. Xerneas is just going to Dazzle. That does way too much damage. Does Finny proc Berry? Finny does not proc Berry, which is unfortunate. I think that's 3, 4, point, 5, 6 points out of Berry, which is unfortunate. But I'm not sure if I live that regardless. If Fire Punch doesn't kill Xerneas, it's over. If I kill Xerneas, there's a chance. I kill Xerneas with a crit, but I mean, it's not... I don't think that's enough. Yeah, there's no way I win now. If that Dazzling Gleam would have put me in berry range, I probably would have survived the Double Edge from the Ments, would have gotten the Icy Wind off, and would have had a chance. But now, I don't know if I can actually win this. I think I'm going to need to burn and protect Solemn. Hyper Voice is coming out. Going to be doing a good chunk of damage to the Groudon here. Yeah, there's no way I win this now, unless I crit, the crit, burn the fire punch, and then protect like 72 million times. No. I'm going to click fire punch, because this game is just going to be over just as fast as if I forfeit or not. So he'll just click hyper voice again. And down goes Groudon. Yeah, if I would have survived with Finny there, like if I would have proc my berry, I probably could have lived. Probably could have won this game. I also, like I said, probably could have won this game and I made a better play earlier on with the Minetric and the Kyogre on the field there, but at the end of the day, it's one battle. It's a bit unfortunate though, because I should have been able to win that one. We'll go into one more here for you guys, see what happens. Maybe Ferrothorn, I think Ferrothorn, no Ferrothorn, I was going to say, I think we need to uh, get Ferrothorn involved, but I mean it did work against uh, in the last episode with against the Rayogre. 
I do want to continue battling. Thank you for asking me, Battle Spot. <laughs> Change up the music this time. I don't think I've done that in a while. So let's see what we get here. Let's see what we get. Either way, good game to my opponent there. I really do really want another battle, another high rated battle. I like I like it being competitive. That was a close one. Anything close I'm happy with. It's tough when you're like either you blow someone out or they blow you out. Like sometimes the gimmicks just work though, right? And sometimes you just have no matchup. But it's always fun when it comes right down to the wire like that. Like if that would have done like five extra points of damage to my Finny, I think. I probably would have proc Barry, and then from there, from there I live the double edge and I win the game, right? So, to me that could have very well been a max uh, damage roll. So I am going to find Max D's with a rating of 1627 from the US. So we're looking like a good battle here. We both actually have our world's invites, so this is going to be a pretty good battle. He's actually, looks like he's having some fun with the Pikachu here, but I'm not going to take it lightly. We got Pikachu, Kyogre, Rayquaza, Incineroar, Tapu Fini, and Stack Attacka. So... Huh, let's see what we can do. Wow, he locked in in a hurry. I'm definitely bringing Ferrothorn to this matchup, and I definitely want to bring Groudon as well. Just because of the stack attack. Um, I'm going to bring Manetric, because both of us have Lightning Rod. I might as well match Lightning Rod with Lightning Rod. Uh, Finny's a, an option. I don't think it's a good option, though. I think I'm going to go Manetric, Ogre, Groudon, Ferrothorn. I'm taking a really big risk bringing Groudon against the Ray Ogre team, but... I think because of the stack attacker and because of the Pikachu, I think I need it. I'm not too concerned about the Pikachu, it's more so the stack attacker. But at the end of the day, if I don't uh, deal with stack very well, I'm, I'm, I'm losing anyways. I need to have Grout on here. He's going to go Kyogre Pikachu. And I'm going to go with Manetric Kyogre. So basically, I'm just going to double protect you. I don't really want to take a fake out on either of my two months. And that's 100% what he's going to do. I mean, I could Snarl, but if he fakes out Manetric and Water Spouts, I lose Manetric. And I don't want to lose Manetric because I need to have the Lightning Rush. Kyogre, his Kyogre is going to be faster with Primordial Sea, so that's fine. I'm going to protect... Actually, do I need to protect Kyogre here, though? I mean, I could, because if he fakes that spot, it, yeah. It's safer to double protect. Not very exciting, but it is a safer play. I'm not going to Mega because I don't want to lose my Lightning Rod, and I'm just going to double protect you. He's going to swap out a Pikachu, that's fine. Into Ray. I'm still okay with this. Is he going to protect? What's he going to do here? I feel like Kyogre just attacked. Because there's no reason for me to swap. But maybe he's predicting me to swap into Groudon. And he's just going to water spout here. Yep, there's a water spout. Okay. So I am just going to stay in and snarl ice beam here. I don't see a reason not to. I think that's probably my best bet. There's no way he should be really able to kill. Do I mega though is my question. I think I might want to mega. I know I lose the lightning rod. But I think it's better. It's, I'm better off if getting to mega. And I'm going to go ice beam into ray. I'm not sure if he swaps back into Pikachu here. I mean, I could have just gone for the Roll Switch. Probably would have been a, the right play. But he might also protect Kyogre here. Manetrix Intimidate is going to Intimidate that Rayquaza, so there's no, there's really, now there's no chance of Rayquaza killing me unless it's a Choice Bandit and gets a crit. He's going to Mega Evolve, so he's going to eat this Ice Beam relatively well. I'm not going to kill with Ice Beam by any means. Although, unless he's like, if he is Life Orb, and uh, he'll get the defense drops, and then Ice Beam might actually pick up that knockout. I'm not too sure about that calc, though, depending on his investment. Manetric is going to get the Snarl off, so no protect from my opponent on either side. Kyogre's special attack is down. Rayquaza's special attack is down. Not that it matters. Rayquaza is going to go Earth Power, so getting that Snarl off actually does keep me alive for this turn. At least for now. Yeah, barely. He's probably going to go for, like, an Origin Pulse or a Water Spell. Yep. So Manetric is going to go down there, that's unfortunate, but it's okay. I can actually come into Groudon relatively safely, not the safest, but relatively safely. Kyogre is going to go Ice Beam, Mysterious Winds are going to weaken that attack. He is going to survive this, no doubt in my mind. Yeah, he is going to survive because he's got the winds up, and I am going to come into Ferrothorn now. I would go Groudon, but the fact that he has Earth Power is just 
not really, it doesn't seem like the right play to me. So Ferrothorn is going to come in right now, and I'm just going to go for the Leech Seed into Kyogre, and another Ice Beam here. I don't see a reason not to Ice Beam. He's going to withdraw Kyogre, so happy I didn't go for the power-up of that Pikachu. No, it's going to be instant, so nice, nice little uh, Leech Seed here, which is good. And I don't know what Rayquaza wants to do. Maybe he wants to go for a Dragon Ascent? If he has Overheat, this is kind of a Okay, Dragon Ascent's fine. I was going to say, if he has Overheat, I just lose. But, that's okay. Rayquaza coming in with the Dragon Ascent. She didn't really do too much because he's minus one. That did a good chunk, though. <laughs> Special Defense is going to go down. Ice Beam's going to come out. Mysterious Winds are going to weaken that attack. And Ice Beam will kill. There's no way Ice Beam does not knock that out. Yep, Rayquaza goes down. And now Incineroar is... Incineroar is Leech Seated. Alright, so we do still have an interesting matchup here. I don't really want him getting Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz is into my Ferrothorn. So if, if he swaps into Pikachu, I'd be 100% scared of that. He is going to swap into Pikachu. The thing is, I don't really have a way to stop him from getting... I guess I could just do this. Harden the Groudon right here and just protect my Ogre for now. Pikachu, does Pikachu get HP water? I guess it could. <laughs> I'm going to lose my Groudon to HP water Pikachu, I feel like I might. So he could easily swap in Kyogre next turn and go for that. Which would be super unfortunate. But let's see what, my, let's see what he's going to do here. Kyogre's going to protect. I feel like he wants to Volt Switch, or just fake out Kyogre here. Volt Tackle. Alright, so appears to be a physical Pikachu, so maybe I don't have to be too scared of HP Water. I'm going to get Flare Blitz from this Incineroar. I should take that relatively well. I'll also get the Leap Seed health back, which is great. He'll take a bit of recoil. So he's going down a little. So here I'm just going to go for the Precipice Blades and swap into Incineroar. Not my uh, into Ferrothorn here. I don't see a reason not to. I mean, I uh, yes, I am kind of scared of the fact that he might go HP Water, but at the end of the day, I can't. I need to start taking damage here. Ferrothorn's gonna come out. Next, he's is gonna swap into out, out of Incineroar. Am I gonna get caught? Am I gonna get caught on this? I really hope I don't get caught here. This is a bit unfortunate if he goes for it. Let's see what happens. I, I probably should swap the other slot. Hit him. He does have it. I saw Volt Tackle. I thought, you know what? Maybe he's physical. I live on two. <laughs> How did I live? <laughs> well, Pikachu's dead. Kyogre gets hit super hard now. I can't believe I lived that. That's, that's hype. <laughs> so maybe he is still pretty physical. So the little bit of special defense I have on his Groudon, helping out. Making us hang on with two, I, I, that's probably a damage roll. There's no way that's just not a damage roll. And I think Ferrothorn just wraps this one up as long as Kyogre stays on the field for him. So I'll Leech Seed his instant, and I'm going to save my uh, Groudon. Do I save Groudon here? I'll protect, but... The thing is, there's two options. I, can I have two endgames I can play to. I can play to the Kyogre versus Incineroar endgame, or I can play to the Groudon versus Incineroar endgame. Or the Ferrothorn versus Kyogre ending. I am going to Leech Seed the Kyogre here. I feel like by killing... Yeah, I feel like by killing the Kyogre, I have two ways to deal with the Incineroar rather than the other way around. So fizzles, fire types attacks fizzles out into rain. I don't know what he, why he would go for that there. But Leech Seed goes into Kyogre here. Now I am relatively safe to swap this Ferrothorn slot into my Kyogre and try to get some health back. I could go for that play, but then in that case I lose Groudon. I'm losing Groudon regardless here. I'm going to launch a P-Blades if I get that off, and I'm also going to Leech Seed into Incineroar. Just time to get some Leech Seeds off, and go with that Go with that from there. Kyogre probably just scalds Groudon here, but Rain's still up. There's no way he hits Ferrothorn. Kyogre's going to protect. That's fine. So he's just letting me take him out with the P-Blades? Okay. I had no reason to swap. 
I mean, I have a Kyogre in the back that I don't really want to die potentially, so there's no reason. He does dodge. And he's going to Darkest Lariat. What's he going to Darkest Lariat is a better question. Probably Groudon. Yeah, predicting me to get the Kyogre in there. But there was no reason for me to swap into Kyogre there. Literally no reason whatsoever. Ferrothorn is going to drop the Leech Seed into Incinera. And at this point, it's simply it's just simple as Protect Stellar to Leech Seed, because that'll kill Kyogre next turn. And then Ferrothorn's death. It's just going to be a matter of, can I keep Kyogre around in order to not die from a potential Origin Pulse? But he's got Skull. So the question is, do I survive a Skull? But right here, I'm going to double protect, and he, I hope he dies to Leech Seed. If he dies to Leech Seed, it's game over. Kyogre's gonna protect. I wonder if it's Z move instant. Cause that could actually that actually might hurt that, that might kill Kyogre. There's no way that kills Kyogre to protect from there, right? There's no way. Kyogre's gonna scald into the protect, that's fine. He is Z move instant. So this thing this now gets interesting here. If this kills my Kyogre, I just lose the game if he kills me here. <laughs> I just straight up lose the game if this actually finds a way to kill me. Once again, I don't think this is copyrighted, so I, th I should be fine letting you guys watch it. Gonna go for the jump. Gonna go for the uh, pounce here. Kyogre through Protect does survive, which is great, so I should win this game now as long as Kyogre on his end dies from the Leech Seed, which I believe it does from the damage I saw last turn. Yep, Kyogre does indeed die, thankfully. He's not living on like 1 or 2 HP, because that would have been an issue. And Instant's coming around. I'm getting some HP back. So now the question becomes, I can't can't afford to miss an Origin Pulse. I have to hit the O Pulse. Uh, I don't know what actually does more here. I feel like Power Whip would. So I'm going to go for the Power Whip. Kyogre's going to go for the Origin Pulse. It does connect, so thank you, uh, Kyogre, for connecting. This is why I like Kyogre, because, you know, Kyogre did what Groudon couldn't. Groudon missed, Kyogre comes in and hits. So, good game to my opponent. And uh, that's going to be it for this one, guys. And we will see you guys back in the next episode for one more episode with the Dual Primal Team. And I will see you guys then.